Hi everyone, Zoo Dude here with another virtual behind the scenes episode for you. Today we're spending time with one of our curators to learn more about a special device for our five elephants. All right, I'm here with Courtney, curator here at the Memphis Zoo. Courtney, your team has gotten really creative late, lately when it comes to enhancing our animal habitats. If you would, talk a little bit about your latest project for our elephant herd. Yeah, so I'm embarrassed actually to admit that this project started in 2017. Um, and But while the zoo was closed, we were able to really focus and crank out a few more of these automated feeders. So it's really important, you've heard me talk before, about mimicking an animal's natural behavior. And elephants spend the majority of their day and nights actually foraging for food and not just foraging or grazing, but also foraging up high. So in the last couple of years, uh, the team and uh, the elephant manager, Amanda Schwaggert, and myself have been brainstorming different ways to encourage that elevated feeding. Um, if you haven't visited in a while, when you visit next, you'll notice that there are a bunch of barrels hanging around the yard, um, and that is, allows an elevated feeding opportunity. We load those barrels up with hay, um, and it allows those elephants to reach for the hay, which is really good for them. In addition to that, um, like I said before, elephants feed throughout the night. And so while we take exceptional care of our animals, there's a number of hours that we're not here. So we started looking at options to provide our herd uh, feeding opportunities throughout the night. And while there are commercial feeders available, those cost between about two and $3,000 a piece. And so um, I felt pretty strongly that we could find a way to provide those opportunities um, by building something ourselves. So. What we did was we built these Memphis automated feeders, we call them MAP feeders, and it really is just a giant garbage can, a 96 gallon garbage can with a door on tracks inside the can. And there's an actuator arm that we've programmed to open a door at a specific time in the middle of the night. So throughout the evening, elephants might come and check the hole that that door is lined up with and they'll just feel the door but at like two o'clock in the morning, that door is programmed to open and all of a sudden the elephants get a, get a snack at two o'clock in the morning. Fantastic, okay, so I'd like to underscore you made this device. What goes into making something like this? Um, a lot of patience and some creativity for sure. Um, with the help of folks in IT, uh, I picked the brains of some of the city electricians. I watched an embarrassing number of YouTube videos. Uh, I learned how to wire these devices and it's pretty simplistic. It's an actuator arm, which is just uh, an electric arm that opens yeah. and closes. And we hook that up to a rocker switch, um, which is hooked up to a timer. And then all of that is hooked up to a battery. So it's battery powered, which makes it portable, which is valuable. We can move it around um, and provide variety for our animals. Um, and we decided to build it into a garbage can, which is just, sort of silly to look at, but at the same time, it meets all of the requirements. It's rugged, it's weatherproof, and it's portable. So um, it, it basically was that simple. That's pretty incredible. Do you think any of our other animals in our collection could benefit from something like this? Oh, I think definitely. Um, I think that we t while we take incredible care of every animal in our collection, there's a number of hours that we're not here in that animal's life. And so whenever we can work in either access opportunities or feeding opportunities that would mimic what they're experiencing or striving for in the wild, um, I think we could see increased welfare. Awesome. Courtney, thank you so much for taking time to talk with us today. You and your team are doing amazing work. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by to hang out with me and the herd. Unfortunately, African elephants are being hunted for their valuable ivory. You can help by visiting elephantsforafrica.org or 96elephants.org. Join us and act now. All right, that's it for this episode. Please continue to follow us across all social media channels as we continue to bring the zoo to you. We'll see you soon.